Hey everybody, it's your girl Herbal Farm Sister. So today I'm going to talk about ticks. Ticks are not insects, but are arachnids like spiders. They belong to the subclass Acari. Ticks can be broken up into two categories, hard ticks and soft ticks. Both male and females feed on blood. Male ticks attach but do not feed as long as females. Female ticks, if they go unnoticed on humans and animals, can feed for days. They require this blood to produce eggs. The life cycle of different species of ticks varies from a few months up to two years. Ticks are vectors of numerous diseases in both humans and animals. So let's explore the world of ticks. There are hundreds of different ticks, but these three are the most important from a public health perspective. The black-legged or deer tick, the lone star tick, and the dog tick. This picture shows just how small they are when you compare them to the size of a dime. So I bet you're thinking like, so what does this have to do with me? Well, basically, you know, people are spending a lot of time outside, especially during the summertime, and they're hiking through the woods. Also, there's had been an increase of tick activity within urban areas due to wildlife coming into those areas and actually leaving ticks there. Because ticks feed on blood, they have the potential of transmitting diseases from one host to another, and humans can become hosts. So the reason that this is important is that when you're outside, you need to make sure that once you come in, you do a thorough check of ticks on you, your children, as well as your pets. A lot of times people think because they use repellents that they're safe outside. In reality, when it comes to hard ticks, um, especially if you're using deep base repellents, they are not very effective against a tick that's just questing. So what happens is the hard ticks, they will just attach, they'll crawl up on your body, find a spot to start feeding, and they will go undetected. And if they go undetected for a number of days, that increases the potential of them actually transmitting disease. So it's very important once you come in from outdoors, even if you're in your own backyard, that you actually do a thorough check for ticks. You'll want to make sure that you check be on your scalp, also in between your fingers, uh, your toes, as well as uh, underarms, the growing area, behind your um, back of your legs and things like that. Also on your pets, you want to check uh, their ears, uh, between their uh, paw pads and their growing area, along their necks, uh, even around the mouth and things like that. Ticks get, are very small, so they can go undetected for a while. And if it's a female, she'll eventually swell. But if she starts to swell really big, that means she has been attached for a number of days, and that increases the potential of someone actually contracting a disease. So here's a short video clip demonstrating how to remove a tick. This method can be used on both humans and animals. This concludes my short video about ticks. I hope this information was helpful. If you'd like a more advanced lesson, I do offer tick prevention as well as mosquito and other insect classes. 
If you like more information, you can email me at urbanfarmsister at gmail.com.